So another functional group is something called a phosphate group. And the phosphate group is complicated and, and the molecules can, can be very complicated, but you can see we have an oxygen and then a PO3 group. We're going to look at something called adenosine monophosphate here. And we'll look, talk about this when we get to a, a later chapter, but for now I just want you to key in on our phosphate group. And you can see we have phosphorus in that it has um, oxygens attached to it. So that is adenosine monophosphate, which is an example of a phosphate group.